Hey, this is Safra Zarum from How to Scrum. Thank you so much for watching the videos. I hope you've been enjoying the content that I've been putting out recently, uh, which are very important topics that people are asking me over the last year and a half as a coach. And I'm just sharing with those uh, comments and what I've been teaching, coaching in these videos. So if you like what, I'm, what I talk, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. There are multiple Scrum teams where you're working in the organization. So how would you liaise with those? And does it really matter? Or do you care if there's another Scrum team within the same department or the organization? So continue watching this video and let's go through some scenarios. So when there's more than one Scrum team or the interview says, how would you work with a coach or how would you work with other Scrum teams? You know there are multiple initiatives going on there that, that has a Scrum master, product owner, and they may have their own product backlog but what they're saying to you in a nutshell is that you as a Scrum Master, would you just work on your own and not really bother liaising with them, finding out what they're, what they're doing? Because you do need to take care. You do need to consider that. Why? Just imagine you're all making a car as an enterprise level. In one of the videos I talk about SSM, Safe Scrum Master, that's where that comes in because now you've got multiple Scrum teams, up to 15, that are working on different parts of building the car and at the end of it, they will build that car. So you might be working on the wheels or the steering wheel or the windscreen, whatever. So you're, you will have a, a one product backlog that you work on. When that happens, you need to ask the question that yes, I will need to understand who are the Scrum Masters and who are the product owners when that happens. Why? Because I need to understand the dependencies. That's key here. I need to understand the dependencies between my project, which I'm working with my Scrum team and the other Scrum team. So for example, let's take example that we're gonna, we're gonna make tea and we, somebody has to add the water, somebody has to boil the water, somebody has to pour the tea and add milk and sugar. So these are different teams out there. So we need to make sure that before I boil the water, I need to make sure that the scrum team that is gonna add the water have finished that job. Because there's no point boiling an empty kettle if the water isn't there. So I need to make sure that if I'm depending on boiling the water as my responsible part of my scrum master project, I need to work with a team that says, hey, my job is to add the water. And the after me will be another team that says, hey, I need to pour the tea. So they're depending on me that the water is boiled before they can put the tea in there. So you can see now the dependencies, so we need to put these dependencies together. And I would recommend that you suggest a, a board on a wall or even a, a software that allows you to put different work streams for each of the project or Scrum team and what dependencies each one is work, waiting upon. So that you can see at a glance that team A is the one that's gonna initiate by adding the water and team B, which is mine, is the one that's gonna take that water and boil it. And team C is taking the boiling water and add tea and team D is the one that's gonna add milk and sugar. So in this scenario, you can see that we see it is important to work with the teams, with the coach and with the Scrum Master Part of to make sure that we are picking up stories which is gonna help to expedite someone else who's waiting. Yeah, but as long as I understand that someone is waiting for my deliverable, I have to make sure that that deliverable is taken care of first. And I work with the product owner to make sure all those stories in the product backlog are on top and therefore the team can take them and work in number of sprints. So then I can lace with any team member and say, after my sprint 25 or 17, whatever, I should be done with boiling the water so then they can plan their sprint one after that. So that is the reason why it's important to understand when the question is asked, how would you work with different scrum teams or how would you work with an agile, uh, with an enterprise coach is because there are multiple scrum teams out there and you need to know the dependencies, how to lay. And there's no harm if you can go in each other's daily scrum and just listen because you need to work together. So I hope this video helped in terms of understanding dependencies, in terms of understanding how that works. So if this comes up as, this, as an interview question, you know how to answer. And if you are on the job and you see that there's multiple uh, Scrum teams, you just need to know how to work with them and get to, get, get to know the Scrum Master, the product owner, so that you can work together. I hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button. At the same time, don't forget to visit howtoscrum.com and you'll find amazing material on, on Scrum and Agile. 
and there's a great workshops that you can attend that will help you expedite your your knowledge and to be an effective scrum master so until next time take care